lucky and realized that my uh, the one that originally came in the kit is the same outside diameter as my uh, replacement one, but this is loose, which would cause a rattle and wear and tear, but my original one is nice and firm. So I'm going to put my old sleeve back in my new bushing and then toss those. Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm going to give you a quick update on what's going on in the uh, Patman garage. So here we are. So I've got my four link bar has been modified. I added a, another uh, adjustment in link. This is a left hand thread. So now I can just twist the bar and uh, adjust my length so I can get my uh, pinion angle set correctly and uh, not run out of adjustment threads. And then back here, I have my new QE1 coilovers. Um, I just unboxed just the coilover for now, or just the shock, I should say. Um, wanted to do some quick mock-ups on lengths and, and the such. Uh, so I moved my uh, cross mocking up. I moved my uh, cross member back some. And then the next step is going to be um, working on uh, this plane of where the uh, four link bars are going to sit. I'm sorry, the Watts link bar is going to sit. So I'm going to have to get the laser level out and start figuring out where they're going to hit on the frame rail and doing drop down brackets for those and all that good stuff. So I will keep you posted as I go, probably do some time lapses and we'll see how far we get tonight. those ground down that in here um, remove, completely remove that one rivet in the middle and that'll allow my cross member to sit flush with the frame rail instead of sitting on top of the rivet so the next thing I need to work on is going to be removing I'm going to be removing this guy which is uh, here to protect the spare tire from the shock absorber, which was originally mounted in here. Um, but obviously that's going away. I don't need that reinforcement and protection there anymore anyways. And, you know, we can reduce some weight in the meantime. So good two or three pounds just solid solid metal so that'll be nice to have that out of the way so here's what we look like now alrighty time to break out the big guns so here's the overall plan with uh, what's happening back here. So I've got the Watts link sort of mocked in place. 
uh, roughed in at least. I've got them just hanging by zip ties at the moment, but um, I'm going to need to work on getting the, the drop down brackets for in here and over there on that side. And then my other goal is I'm a, I want to raise my spare higher um, and reduce some of this. So I've got some box tubing I'm going to put across here. Uh, but I need to be able to cut some sections out of it, but still keep the length of the frame rails or the width of the frame rails uh, the same. So what I'm going to have to do is cut out some of the interfering areas and then we'll weld in the bars and then we'll cut out the rest of it. Uh, same process I did with my transmission cross member. Um, so that way you ensure the length stays the same. So the current next step is I'm going to be cutting out some of um, the interference section. So I'm going to cut out here, I'm going to cut out here, and I'm going to cut out this guy. So that's what we're working on right now. This should make a little bit more sense now. I got my pieces cut off here. Um, now I have these channels that are opened up. I can lay the beam in there, go ahead and get it welded on the sides. And then I can cut out the remainder of the center section. After almost three hours of cutting and grinding and cutting and grinding and test fitting and cutting and grinding, I finally have both my cross members, new cross members, in the frame rail. Um, so obviously one of the challenges is the fact I want I want lots of overlap internally, but since they're both C-shaped, I kind of have to go into one side and then drop into the other. So this one's centered. Uh, this one I did a little sneaky action down here and actually came through 
this uh, window on the back side to get it slide in. Um, so I notched in here just a little bit on the inside of that guy. But this one's actually going to be much longer, which should make for a stronger cross member. So once I get both of these welded in, then this whole centerpiece will come completely out. Um, then I will probably add two pieces of angle iron across here, and then I'll have my spare tire winch right in the center. So that's the plan. Still got a ways to go. Um, obviously still need to work on my drop down bracket over here and on the other side. So I'm going to have probably a, the two and a half by one and a half box tube come down and then the C channel uh, adjustment bar come off that. So that'll be tomorrow. So stay tuned.